Yo, we are back with another primal workout that is going to strengthen and lengthen your body. This one is gonna feel good, challenge you in some new ways, and I know you're gonna love it. We are getting right into this work, so get ready. Warm up starts now. It's chilly out here, let's get the blood pumping. So finding your stance here, standing nice and tall through your body, we're simply going to take it into a low march here tapping alternating knees right here so eyes forward get a little bit of cross body rotation as you go through this march and if you want to play around with it start getting the eyes involved and moving them around again just great opportunity for us to drive the feet into the ground and activate those hips for the last 30 seconds here, if you want to start to point the toe towards the ground, that's just one more thing you can add to continually open up the ankle. Keeping that breath steady and relaxed. Beautiful. All right. <clears throat> From there, we're gonna take it into our front and back lunge in that lunge matrix. We'll go hands on the hips to start. So lunging forward like so with my right leg, actively extending through this back hip right here. And then from here, either passing through the center or coming directly back, right? I'm coming here, stepping back, pulling through my hips. So forward, strong extension through this plant leg right here you can sink into that front leg as much as you want to and then we're taking this into flexion as we step back through here so let's go ahead and get four more on this side taking your time getting into the hips and opening up these different angles of your lunge pattern Go one more. And up. All right. So now other legs planted. Whatever leg you started with is now the one you're moving. So lunging forward, like so, active through that back leg, passing through. And of course, use that gather step in the middle, like so, as you need it. Couple more on this side. Again, take your time. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna take it lateral now. So I'm gonna lunge, let's say with my right leg here, hands on the hips, and I'm gonna keep that foot square pulling back through my hips. So a little chop through my hips as I come back like so. And then I'm across right here, loading laterally through the hips. So we wanna get that lateral load here, lateral load here, lateral load here, lateral load here. So let's keep going with that. Continuing to drive that plant leg into the ground. Let's switch sides right there. So same thing, I'll show you from the side. As I lunge towards the camera right here, I'm also gonna just chop back at the hips like this, pulling out so I can get a little stretch. So a little lateral lean here as well, and then coming across. Again, as you come here, we wanna feel that inner thigh stretch on the elongated leg right here. And then as we come across, hips 
press here, laterally load, feel that stretch on the outside of the hip. And again, this does not have to be a far distance here. If you got those really tight inner thighs, we can shorten this up. Just getting that lean here to get a little stretch there. All right. And then last one with the lunge, we're gonna open and close. So I'm gonna start with my left leg here. Okay, and I'm going to swing my right leg, my right hip open, okay? And I wanna feel that rotation, external rotation through this hip as that happens. And then from here, drive that foot into the ground. And now I'm in internal rotation through that plant leg. So I open up and close. And this one, you might feel a little stress through the knee right there. So that could be, hey, I shorten up that range here a little bit. I'm not putting as much stress on the knee, but you'll start to get an understanding over time on how your hip is moving. External rotation here, internal rotation here. And we'll continue to work on this. But I, I just really like this movement to get us into that feel that internal and external rotation feel. Okay, same thing. Plant leg right here, I open up. Again, active, wanna feel a little lateral hip here, and then close, gonna feel that internal rotation through the hip. So once again, I'm feeling that swivel. And something to just keep in mind, especially if you're going through this Second, third time, challenge yourself by bringing your eyes up or even let's say I'm in front of myself right here. So a few things to just add a little bit more challenge if you're like, hey Grant, I need something. Give me something else to work on. I've already got this internal and external rotation down. Well, keep practicing it. Awesome work. Like I said, we're gonna get our hands dirty. So let's get those arms, back and shoulders opened up. We're gonna start by rolling those shoulder blades back. Thinking about lengthening through the crown of your head here. Nice solid posture. And we'll reverse directions here. Again, doing your best to really Feel the shoulder blades move along the back of your rib cage. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go arms out into a T. Let's make some fists here just to get that heat going through the shoulders and the hands in the back, everything. And we're gonna go small circles here, moving from the shoulder. So small to medium circles, not gonna go super big with this. One thing I'm really focusing on is the feeling of my midline. So I'm not allowing these circles to influence too much of what's happening through my midline right here. So staying stable, feeling the shoulders, giving yourself the opportunity to feel how those shoulders are moving in more of that local space through the shoulder. We're gonna go thumbs up right here and we're gonna send it back, all right? So a little bit more activation through the back. Same thing here, checking in with those shoulders. Lots of different stuff that attaches to the shoulders is involved with the movement. So we just want to give it a chance to come into its own. All right, last one right here. We're gonna go fists at the, at the temples right here. So I'm gonna press into my skull right here, creating a little activation through the neck. And once I'm there posturally, I'm going to exhale, close, inhale, 
open up. So I wanna stay broad through that collarbone, not overly flaring through the core right here, staying solid through my posture and opening up those shoulders. Keep this going for 10 more reps. One, two, three, four, five. Continue to open through that collarbone right there and activate the back. Let's go three, two, one, and rest. All right. Last thing in our warm up, we're gonna get down on the ground. So let's chop those hips right here, come down into our monkey. Now, from this monkey position, what I want you to focus on is engagement through the hands in a few different ways. So I'm actually gonna go here to start. I'm gonna place my hand back here, place my hand back here, maybe move around a little bit, come around back into my monkey right here. And of course, if you need to spread those feet out a little bit more, you can totally come on to your toes at any point and then you're going to walk it out into your cat and we just want to spend some time in each one of these base positions so i'm back here wiggling around come around right into my cat feeling out the different angles getting my hands dirty getting them connected with the ground and then coming back through here Again, this is a freestyle here, just alternating between your cat, your crab, and your monkey. Continuing to play for about another 30 seconds, and then we're gonna get into our workout. Big key with any sort of ground movement here is continuing to wake up those hands and use them for support. Get used to these being another two limbs that we can walk on. All right, I'm warmed up, my hands aren't, but we'll make sure that happens. Let's get into the workout right now. We are kicking things off with a lower body movement, the cowboy squat. To get into this movement, all you do is take a small step forward, eyes forward right here, sinking down with a kickstand on that back foot, back leg, and then from here, standing up, then we take a stride. What we do, since this is a travel drill, if you have the space to keep going forward, do that, but you can also just make use of your space. So simply take a stride back, Boom, I'm right back into my cowboy squat. Big key is gonna be those eyes up right here, continuing to sink back into your hips, stay active through that ankle flexion and pressure into that front leg as well. Second movement is the scorpion reach to side plank. So I'm gonna start off in my bear position, high through the hips. On one side, I'm gonna go into that scorpion reach. From here, I'm gonna thread things through Plant my foot high through the hips, open up here for a moment, place that hand back down, return to the scorpion reach, come back to the ground, and then reaching over to the other side. Once again, threading through, plant that, open up through my body, strong through the hands, high through the hips, and then returning back to that scorpion. Exercise number three is gorilla lifts. So I'm gonna get into a wide stance right here, slightly point my toes out. Once I'm in this position, I'm simply gonna focus on chopping my hips back, remaining high through the hips. You can see a slight knee bend here. Basically, till the point, high through the hips and knee bend to my fingers touch right here. We're gonna rip the floor apart, keep spreading into the feet, and all we're gonna do while staying high through the hips is going to be a lift off with one arm here, 
Again, does not have to be super high. Big focus, staying in the lat. All right, we wanna make sure we're not here. So pull that shoulder into the lat and come back down. I'll cue you through a few different things as we go through that. And lastly, we're coming into the crab reach. So I'm gonna come down into that crab position. We worked on how to get into it, like so. And then from here, hands gonna come right here in front of my face. I'm gonna spiral through my shoulder, open up here, reach. I can follow my hand with my eyes if I need to. Come back down, replace the hand, reach. And so big focus on that one is gonna be getting that rotation actively through the T-spine with the hips staying relatively square. So we've got those four exercises running through three rounds of those, one minute of work each, followed by 25 seconds rest. Of course, I want you to focus on the setup here, so really focus on getting that 40 to 45 seconds of really solid work. Starting things off with our cowboy squats. Let's get it going. Tall through the spine, eyes forward. We're gonna take that small step forward, sinking down into the hips, standing tall, taking that step forward. One thing I like right here, you can have this little martial posture with the upper body, right? I'm here. And again, we can have that gather step just so we feel equal on both sides before we go into it. Or we can even just take this into a nice little traveling drill here. Now, really focused on the range where you can stay active. Again, that front leg's big. I don't wanna be all the way back here, driving that foot into the ground. Let's go ahead and rest right there. Keep the body moving. If you're outside like me, definitely wanna keep the body moving during those rest periods. Shake it out, a little jumping jacks, a little march, whatever you need to do. We're gonna get rolling with our scorpion reach to side plank in five seconds. Hands on the ground, getting into that bare position. And we are working, reaching up, getting that nice activation and stretch through the hips, threading that leg through, opening up, and then sending that back up. Once again, getting that active stretch, opening up through the hips, strong through that plant leg in the ground return back down switching sides reaching through that hip activity leg comes through opening up coming back down making sure you finish it with the reach there up behind you let's see if we can get one more each side here might be a little bit quicker but again take your time Focus on the stability and the connection through the movement. And that's our rest right there. Finish up this side or simply take it into your rest. So I say with that one, really focusing on making sure you have that hold and really just maybe getting one or two each side. All right, we're taking it into the gorilla lifts. Wide stance, three, two, one. We're right here. So feet pointing out, chopping the hips back, high through the hips, knee bend, spread the floor with your feet, strong back here. Okay, we're not resting our hands on the ground, we're simply hovering. Wanna breathe big, own this position really spreading the floor apart. We're gonna go ahead and lift the right palm up, like so. Once again, staying in that lat, breathing into the posture. Let's go ahead and bring that arm down. Left palm reaches up, breathing into the hips, ripping that floor apart, coming back down. One more lift each side, right side. Continue to pull high through the hips, anchor, anchor, anchor rip the floor apart, lift the other arm up here, 
Breathe in, ripping that floor apart for three, two, one. Standing up, shaking things out. Awesome job with the gorilla lifts. Okay, we have one more movement here, and that is the crab reach. Gonna get set up here in just about 10 seconds. Getting those hands warmed up. All right. So hand comes here in the center. I'm driving through this hand. I'm pressing through, feeling some rotational ability through my shoulder, reaching that arm above my head, and then coming back down. Big focus on strong through the transfer right here. So when I say strong, really focus on making that strong connection to the ground, first and foremost, right? No need to muscle through this. Can I really connect with that ground? And that other cue right here, as that arm reaches above your head here, you can follow it with your eyes. Active through those shoulders. Couple more seconds of work. And rest. Alrighty, we got one round down. We're gonna circle back to that cowboy squat right here. Same thing. Oh man, it is really chilly out here today. What did I get myself into? Five seconds and we'll hop into the cowboy squat. All right, working, taking that small step forward, eyes forward, coming down here. Now, something you can play with, yet not necessary, is going to be, as I come here, pulling from the hip, pulling this knee out, and I'm coming into a bit more of a spiral right here. So, I can take that step and continue to work on that more rotational aspect of the cowboy squat or I can really keep things linear all right so again want to make you aware of how we can challenge ourselves in the movement here and remember if we're in more of that rotational or locomotive that head's gonna shift over that front leg right there Let's go ahead and rest right there. Awesome work. You're gonna come into that scorpion, all right? Scorpion reach into the side plank. Again, not gonna get a lot of reps on this, so focus on those tr transitional uh, moments during those positions. Stay active. Five seconds. Getting set. And we're working. Reaching through that hip, strong with the contact through the ground, strong with that activation as you open up the hip, thread it through, setting up into that side plank, and that back leg, as some dirt falls on my face, can turn on the ground here as well. Sweeping that leg back up, and then coming back down. Other side. Got about 15 seconds left, so just letting you know where you're at. And rest. Awesome. All right. Stay moving. What do we got next? Yeah, we got gorilla lift. So that high through the hips is such a huge key. We're gonna get started in three seconds. So get that wide stance set up, toes pointed out slightly right here. Now I'm gonna chop those hips back, continue to pull the hips high, but you can notice that knee bend right here. That knee bend's gonna keep that back nice and long and expressed. 
while staying back through the hips. So holding this position, this is what I mean. Take a look real quick. When I say pull high through the hips, that's what I'm talking about. Just that little lift right there. Spread the floor apart. Let's go ahead and take it into the reaches. Left hand comes up to the sky right here, staying in the lat, turning that palm up. And let's go ahead and bring that down. Right hand, palm comes up to the sky. Continuing to breathe, press into those feet, grounding through the outside pad of the foot, grounding through the big toe pad of the foot. Breathe, let's go ahead and switch over to that left side. Back to the right side. Keep pulling high through the hips, high through the hips. Bring those hands down, keep spreading the floor, and rest. Looks like we went a little bit longer there. <laughs> All good. Gonna give you a few extra seconds before we hop into our next movement. 15 seconds before we hop back down on the ground and hit that crab reach. <sighs> Trying to get my direction, all right. Decided on it, let's get started and go. All right, switching over, weight shifting a little bit. Hips through. Again, the tendency is probably gonna really be to extend through the hips. Make sure that continues to happen through your T-spine here as well. Get a nice rotation and opening through there. Cueing in on something maybe on the ground to reach for. Like, oh, I'm gonna pick this up. And rest right there. Two rounds down, one more to go. Let's get it. All right, cowboy squats coming up in just about 10 seconds. Again, big focus. How can I stay engaged through that front leg? with this movement. So I take that step forward right here. I wanna make sure I pull back through my hip, whether I'm going into the rotation or not. I'm continuing to pull back through this hip. Coming up. Using this as an opportunity to recognize that support as I lunge into this. I got the support here to go into more of that ankle flexion. Eyes up. Finding your own flow with it. And rest. Whew. So on the scorpion reach here, you might have already found it, but if I'm reaching, I'll let you know when we're starting, all right? But when I'm reaching and I come through, you can kind of treat this as a kick through. Boom, hips high, and I'm up. All right, let's get to work. Let's focus on those details. And we're going into that scorpion reach to side plank. Again, wanna stay high through the hips, active through that shoulder as it presses into the ground and active through those hips. Again, great opportunity to feel into the stretching component of this movement. Great shapes to stretch into. Engage the ground with your hands, your feet, get into that hip. And 
rest right there. All right, home stretch. Two more moves. Want to get the most we can out of this gorilla lift right here. So strong with the breath. <sighs> strong with that engagement through the ground. And we're going to have fun with it. Three, two, one. Chopping those hips back, bending to the knees, high through the hips. Again, how much can I ground into the ground? <laughs> Whatever that means. Press those feet into the ground. Breathe in. Own the position. Again, if you need to move around a little bit, that's all good. Let's go ahead and take it into the lifts. Right hand, palm to the sky. Engage through the lat, breathe into it. Long through the spine, spread the floor. Let's go ahead and drop that hand. Other side. Reach, lift. Bringing that down. Let's go ahead and bring the hands out into a sphere of tension, staying in the high hips right here, ripping the floor apart. Drive the fingertips together, breathe. And let's go ahead and rest right there. Wiggle it on out. We're gonna hop down into that crab reach in 10 seconds. All right, let's get set up. Now, as I come through here, use that key right here, looking for something to grab on the ground, reaching and coming back. Reaching. If you want to add something to this, again, not that it's right or wrong, just another thing to do. Coming up onto the balls of the feet, extending through the front of your body, and maybe get a little extra oomph out of that stretch. Active through the hands, again, nice rotation and extension through that shoulder. that is our resting point right there awesome work on the workout today we'll take it right into our cool down with some standing movement so like i said we we're gonna get our hands dirty i did maybe you did too thanks for joining me we're gonna cool down here with some standing decompression so i'm gonna bring my big toes together heels apart in the back just a little bit and then from here a little bit of hip hinge right so i just chop pull my hips back that allows me to bring my knees together so i'm going to spiral the inner thighs back squeeze my knees together and i'm going to open up through my chest getting nice lift through the collarbone and again want to make sure i'm not overly flaring through the rib cage using that breath to bring this down into nice continuity through the front of the body Squeeze those knees together. We're gonna to scoop those hands up, come into a spear of tension. Dry the fingers together. And then with this engagement, I can start to get into that same thing with the gorilla lifts in my lat here. So I'm not up here. I'm able to get into my lats, plug into my lats, and then breathe into that. We're gonna slowly, with that lat engagement, bring the hands above us. And I want you to really focus on nice, expansive breathing here. That doesn't mean you have to force it. You've already done some work to open up. Use this as an opportunity to soften and align in the body. Pull those hips back just a little bit more. We're gonna be here for three more breaths. Squeeze those knees together lightly. And 
and let's go ahead and shake it out right there. All right, same position, maybe a little bit wider with the feet. We're gonna go ahead and spiral those inner thighs back. Come into a forward fold right here. And relax, so heavy through the head. High through the hips, we wanna get a nice active stretch in there. But again, seeing if we can find some decompression in the spine by anchoring the hips with some nice engagement. Big breaths in between the shoulder blades, maybe coming up into the neck. And then you might need to peek up for just a moment, but all you're gonna do is take one foot, pivot it internally so we rotate into that hip. That opposite hand can come in front of that opposite foot. And then I'm nice and long through one leg right here. Driving through that outside pad of the foot, pressing that big toe pad of the foot right there to establish the inner line. One more breath right there. And we will switch it over to the other side. So once again, high through the hips, find that pivot through the foot and the hip. Drive big toe pad, outside pad into the foot. Pull up into that hip. And breathe into it. Same thing through the head and the neck right here. Heavy. And then we'll pass through the center right here. Just go into a few little small knee bends, little squinge action. Ooh. Shake it out, bounce it out. And thank yourself for showing up today putting in this strength work. Awesome job with these movements. We'll be back with more. Stay smooth.